Hi, Mallory Cameron here. I am going to talk to you today about how you can use Microsoft Teams to video conference with your students and ensure that only one class period of students is in your conference at once. So I know there's been a lot of talk about using Big Blue Button within Canvas and how all of your students can access it at once if your course is cross-listed. Well, with Microsoft Teams, you don't have to worry about that because there are two ways that you can embed your Microsoft Team conference and you can ensure that only a specific class period or specific students can access it at one time. So the first way I'm going to show you is going through announcements. So you're going to click on your announcements tab and add a new announcement. This will be my first period meeting. And then we're going to come over here to this plugin icon. Once you click on this plugin, it's going to show you all of the apps that can be embedded into your Canvas pages. And we're going to come down to Microsoft Teams Meetings. Once you click on that, it is going to say sign in if it's the first time that you've accessed it. If you've accessed it previously, you'll click on Create Meeting Link. Then I am going to name it First Period Meeting and then I'm going to create it. Before I copy this link, I'm going to click on meeting options. This is important so that I can ensure that I am allowing the students into my meeting so that they can't access it before I'm there or be in there chatting on their own. So who can bypass the lobby? Right now it's people in my organization, which would include students. I don't want that. I want only myself to be able to enter in without stopping in the lobby. Announcement callers join or leave, you can do that optional. I personally would recommend doing it so that if a student comes in tardy, then you're going to be notified that they need to be approved into your meeting or if a student leaves, you are notified as well. And who can present, I'm going to change it to only me and then save. Now I'm gonna go back to my meeting and I'm going to copy this link. When you click copy, it is going to auto populate this hyperlink. I'm going to make it a large so that it stands out for my students. And then I'm going to type a quick message to my students, just telling them that they will need to be in the meeting by the start of first period. And I said they as I was talking to you, but it really would need to say you will need to be in the meeting by the start of first period. Before I save this announcement, I'm going to come here to post two. So right now it is going to all of my class periods that are cross listed into this course. Instead, I only want period one to be able to access my first period meeting. After I have period one selected, then I can click save. Now only my first period students are going to have this link to join my first period meeting. So I won't have to worry about students from sixth period actually accidentally coming into my conferences tab at the wrong time. I also won't have to worry about students lingering around or hanging out in my conference when I'm not there because I set my privacy that I have to allow them from the lobby. Which is also beneficial because we're taking attendance through LaunchEd and you can use the lobby to take your attendance for the class period. And I'll show you that in another video. The second way, other than announcements, is to create an actual assignment. So when you go to your module, what I would recommend doing is creating a module just for your meetings. So it will be at the top of your course so students can access it first thing each class period. I'm going to create a new assignment in my meeting and I'm going to call it, let's do second period meeting. Then I will go to my assignment and edit. I'm gonna follow the same steps as I did with the announcement. I'm gonna click on this to select my app, which is Microsoft Teams Meetings. I'm going to create my meeting link, which I said this is my second period meeting, and create. Remember, go to meeting options before copying so that you can set your privacy for allowing students to join and present. And then you can copy your link. Again, it's going to hyperlink for you. 
and make it large and I'm going to say something similar as I did in my other one. Hi students, you will need to join this meeting by the start of second period each day. I'm not going to have it count as points and I'm not going to grade it. Right here, the assigned to is the important part on the assignment. So I don't want it going to everyone because again, I don't want all my students accessing this meeting at once. I only want my second period students. So I can do period two and only they will be able to access it. If I were doing this for tutoring or for a small group or something like that, you also have the ability to type in specific students' names or only they will see this assignment. So only they will have access to that link. But for this one, I'm doing period two. And then I'm gonna come down and save and publish. This is going to pop up. This says, warning, not all sections are getting this assignment. That is okay, that is what you want. You don't want all class periods to be able to access that meeting. So I'm going to continue. And now in my modules, I have the second period meeting. If I continue this for all of my class periods, my students from student view, when they access it, they would be able to see second period meeting if they're in second period. If they are in third period, they're not gonna see the second period link or the first period link. They're only going to see their class periods link. So then that's a quick one-stop shop for them to join into the meeting at the start of each class period each day for you. So I hope that this helped you. I know I was frantically worrying about students that may pop into my Big Blue Button conference at the wrong time, but now I feel a little bit more ease going into this whole launch ed process with at least this box checked and knowing that we'll be able to make sure our students are in the right place at the right time. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and have a good one.